Quinn here from beyondgrappling.com. Today uh, I was on the judocrazy.com website. Make sure you check that out. And I saw this really great video uh, of this Japanese guy just launching people with the most massive uchimatas you've ever seen. So absolutely incredible uchimata entries. Uh, he just does a great double step uchimata to get in there. And he's also got a really nice ear yeah, uchimata to Tominagi combination. But look at this guy's uchimata. It's just phenomenal. The lift he gets is probably, arguably, the best Uchimata lift in in modern judo at the moment, if not ever. Maybe Yoshida. Even Inoue didn't have lift like this, but it's a different Uchimata. Anyway, so saw this video and he had a really nice Uchimata setup, which I want to show you. It's at the end of this video. Sorry, I'm on the Facebook page on Judo Crazy. So, um, But this guy's Uchimata, he finishes a really, really nice Uchimata. Here it is. I'll show you what he does. He's pinning the sleeve. Watch the left hand. He's pinning the sleeve. His opponent breaks the grip. And then he launches in for the Uchimata for Ripon. Fantastic. So what he does is, I was just watching the breakdown of how he does his Uchimata. And I absolutely loved it. So you notice the Japanese guy here in the white's controlling the sleeve. He's pinning it down. And the guy in the blue goes, do you know what? I don't, I want to break this grip. So he starts pulling his hand back. And often in judo, we hold our, you know, they, our opponent starts breaking the grip and we just hold it tighter and tighter. But instead, the Japanese judoka here, Maruyama, he actually, he holds a sleeve, the blue guy breaks it, he tries to break it, and on the second time, he allows him to break it, he lets go of the sleeve, goes straight to the lapel, and he does a double lapel or chamada. Check it out. Beautiful. Let's look at it in a bit of a fast forward. Look at him controlling the sleeve. And then he goes for it. Absolutely beautiful. Watch again. He's controlling the sleeve. And then as soon as the guy in the blue breaks that grip off, he launches in for the double lapel of Chimata. And I just loved it. Sorry, I'm just on the Facebook page on it. So look, controlling the sleeve, the blue guy tugs it. See how he does the tug? Yeah, Japanese guy knows he's going to tug it again. As he tugs it, he lets it go, grabs the lapel. He's already flying in for his Uchimata to get the double lapel of Chimata. And... Just to let you know, double appeal chamas are hard to land. But watch again. Watch the sleeve break. Pull. Let's him break it. Launches in. So just in your judo, when you're in these positions where someone, you're maybe you're pinning an arm, start thinking rather than just holding on to the sleeve. See, there's the grip break. Rather than just holding on to it for dear life, allow your partner to break it, and then use that to your advantage. So Zantaraya. Uh, Ukrainian, he does a similar thing. He holds the sleeve and pins it. And when instead of launching from Uchimata, when they break it off, he does left arm around the head. He does a left Koshigurima or Makakomi, Soto Makakomi, but same thing really in his case because his hips are so good. But look at this. He's guy's breaking it. As he breaks it again, he's already on that double lapel. He's already launching in. Look at the legs. He comes in for that beautiful Uchimata, which I love. So there's just a quick little breakdown which I just loved his sneaky little setup into the Uchimata. It's doing it off a grip break. Uh, and you can do a combination is a combination either it's after a throw, after a grip change, or after a grip break. So give that a go. Hope you, hope you like my breakdown. If you want to do more, make sure you comment, and I'll do some more of them. Thanks a lot. Or you can even send me videos on Facebook of videos you want me to break down, throws you want me to break down, and I'll try to get onto it as soon as possible.